I gotta say this right now, I am extremely uh, surprised that I did not catch up to this. I, no one has even been talking about this, and I'm really surprised. Really, honestly, because a lot of people really did enjoy this channel. Even uh, Moist Critical was talking about the controversy or the issues that this channel was going through. And of course, I'm talking about all gas, no brakes. If you don't know who that channel is or that individual is, I think the person's name is Andrew uh, Callahan, or maybe that's his, uh, I don't know, his pretend name. But anyways, he, he goes around the world or just around the United States, basically, interviewing very strange and quirky individuals. At one point, he did one with the furry fandom, which I really enjoyed because you know I just I, it, I even made a video I even made a video just mocking the people making like really dumb comments but he ran into some controversy all right he, well he ran into some issues with uh, I guess the people that were helping him out because I think he made a deal with a company they gave him a van essentially and then like a camera crew and stuff like that but he wanted a little bit more money nothing wrong with that he wanted to raise but the company was like nope no raise for you and so you know they, they went back and forth to the point where they actually kicked him out they kicked Andrew out from the uh, the entire program now the channel is, is essentially belonging to that company now so uh, I remember at one point I even tried to uh, upload or actually do a live stream uh, you know doing some live reactions with that video or any of the videos and it, it just got me a copyright strike which was absolutely ridiculous but why are we talking about this like I said before completely surprised this uh, did not go on my Twitter timeline in any way, shape, or form, or even just, I just missed this. Uh, but he made a new channel, and I figured that out through Instagram. Man, Instagram is such a interesting place. It always brings me information when I'm not looking for information. I'm just there for memes, okay? But it always, some way, shape, or form, gives me new content to talk about. I'm just like, oh, wait a minute, this is a new video. Because someone was like posting, uh, you know, one of the clips from the new channel of his. And I was like, wait a minute, this isn't, you know, something that from the past. This has to be recent. And it was recent. And it's channel 5. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like right now. Channel 5. Five with Andrew Callahan. It's a long title, I'm not gonna lie, but no one's gonna be reading that completely, right? They're just gonna be calling it Channel 5. And it seems like it's been verified, so, you know, it's kinda weird, because there's a lot of people on YouTube that need to be verified, but they're not verified, but at least Andrew got verified, so that's really good, really nice. And for four months, I had no idea he came back. You know, this was his first video right here, the Miami Beach one. Uh, he uploaded that one four months ago, this one three months, three months, two months, two months, one month, and two weeks ago. So this one is the most late, uh, recent one, uh, the Q Conference, which I assume is talking about Q and on. A uh, bunch of quirky individuals, but yeah, he's doing the same thing that he was doing before. The same content that, you know, many people are longing for. But it seems like, it seems like a lot of people already know that he came back with, uh, you know, got around like 1.6 million views, which is, you know, basically, yeah. No, a lot of people know he's here. Maybe you don't know, I definitely didn't know, but I'm definitely... Uh, extremely excited that he is, you know, returned back to YouTube. But anyways, let me go ahead and show you a little montage from, you know, a couple of clips here uh, so that you can see what you can expect from the new channel. I've kind of been searching for the truth my whole life. And one time I just came across a video that was about Biden and Kamala Harris and Clinton and Obama. They are Satan worshippers, Satanists. They're Satan worshippers, 100%. Girl will probably be in front of you at a time when you don't expect it. The cock blocker we gotta watch out for is ourselves. Ultimately, we think it's the girls, we think it's the time, we think it's us, we think it's that, it's one thing. It's what we think. Every hot girl that you see at some point was a little baby wearing diapers and at some point will be an elder woman. Our assignment is to shift our mindset. When? Right, right here, right, right now. now. Hey, we need help in the liquor department. We've been everywhere and on every bitch. Uh, the twins, I think we didn't did it again, huh? <laughs> Two black bitches in the bin. Huh? <laughs> Of course, they're very popular. Then only white boys in Moran. The fucking shit! The fuck out of here, Tommy, motherfucker! Hey, this is our town, motherfucker! Try to take it! Try and take it! If they start shooting, get behind me! Hashtag white privilege! I'm about to take this balloon to the fucking neck and that's it. Why? 
just because I don't give a fuck about the authority and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the authority. So from watching one or two videos of his, I can tell there is a difference. Right, the camera crew is, I guess, not much of a camera crew. I guess it's just his friends, which, you know, nothing wrong with that. It has the whole YouTube vibe. But the camera angles and how they shake the cameras, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of it, you know, because in the old channel, I, I feel like the people who were, you know, holding the camera, they knew what they were doing, uh, and it was more consistent. But this is, there's a lot of inconsistencies when it comes to just the, you know, with, when it comes to the camera angle. But at the same time, uh, the, what's the word I'm looking for? The immaturity or the, uh, the amateurish, uh, you know, camera skills? I don't know, it's not like a douche saying that. Uh, adds more to the, to the video than it takes away. Because it adds more to the humor, right? Because, like, there's a lot of awkward pauses, you know, like, awkward stares and stuff like that. Uh, in the camera angles and just how the camera shakes and how the camera's positioned in general adds to that. Which, again, you know, it... It doesn't really harm the video in general, but for me, for me, for me, I would just prefer if there was some more, a little bit more consistency when it comes to the camera angle, you know, instead of just shaking it here and there, like for, you know, it's like, ah, you know, it's kind of reminds me of the, you know, the kind of old videos that I made in the past where, you know, the, the concept of holding the camera still was not a thing in my mind, so that's a thing. That's just a thing for me, but again, I don't think it harms the, uh, the video in itself, but it's just one of, it's just a small, you know, pet peeve of mine. But overall, All Gas No Breaks is back at it again, making the content that we've been waiting for, that we've enjoyed in the past. So again, I am really happy that he has returned. Hopefully the company that screwed him over in the beginning doesn't come back to bite him again in the ass. But this is a huge W for the internet, for sure. A massive W. We've been needing a W for a while. I guess we received a W with the, uh, uh, you know, with Ethan getting punished by YouTube, but at the same time, there were people saying that's an L, and that's fine, honestly, so, th I think this is objectively a W, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen, you want a W, there's a W right there, Andrew's back at it again on YouTube, making those really quirky interviews. But well, that's all I can really say about this situation. Again, I'm really happy about this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Are you happy? Are you not happy? Why aren't you happy? Stop being grumpy and be happy about this for once. God damn it. <laughs> but anyways, thank you everyone for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button. You want to see more content like this. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified on my next video. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.